Hey everybody, all them taskers out there. Want to learn how to use the TaskRabbit app? I'm about to show you how right now, coming right up. Hey folks, so this is my tutorial on basically uh, what the TaskRabbit app is. So as y'all can see right now, I have a million freaking apps, but uh, this is the one right here. It's the one that has task underneath and it has a rabbit. So we're going to click that. Okay, let's get out of here real quick. All right, so this is what I want to first show you. If you push this, the button on the top uh, left screen, you'll uh, see a bunch of options. Like you see my profile picture right there. You see view profile, uh, get invitations, manage my task, uh, my business task history. So the first thing I want to show you is the view profile area. So the view profile area, basically it has your name and it has your rating um, and it tells you about the certain tasker. In your case, it tells you about you uh, it tells you about your work area, vehicles if you have any, closing messages, or you can even promote yourself to gain more clients. The about section is basically where you just give an explanation of why you're the right person for this job. For instance, it says right here, if you, if you look closely, I'm the right person for this job, uh, blah, 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 no matter what the job, blah, blah, etc., etc., when I'm not tasking, you know, when I'm tasking, I always make sure to. Uh, you want to really sell yourself on those because people really see that and then they judge your character and your skill set depending on that. Um, so the, the second thing I want to show you is the work area part. Now for the work area, for me, um, I have pretty much the whole entire map of Philadelphia mapped out because if you have a, a whole map like a larger map then you're more likely to get more jobs in different areas although of course you're going to need a car so that's very important um but if you go a little closer you can see i cover everything from the philadelphia airport to willow grove and brent athens so yeah i i got a pretty big map um, but, uh, if you need more help, like making that, I'll show you how to do that later. I just want to show you all every feature about this. Um, vehicles, of course, check what kind of vehicle you have. In my case, it's a minivan slash SUV. If you have a bike, yeah, that's the cool part. You can even use a bike to get there. And if you, depending on what type of vehicle you have, um, that determines on what people are gonna hire you for. Like, if people, if people know that you have a pickup truck, they may be more likely to hire you for a yard job or for a, a, a moving job or something like that. Or, you know, if you have a moving truck or something. If they see you have a car, they'll be more likely to hire you in farmer places. So, let's just save that. Um, closing message. All that is, basically, is uh, this is the default closing message. You, you can make it into whatever you want. For me, at the very bottom, I just try to like get people more intrigued and saving money by signing up for uh, for Lyft. Um, by the way, just in case you know, this is a little unrelated, but if you are interested in signing up for Lyft, uh, you can always use my referral code. I'll have that inside the video description. Okay, so let's keep going here. I don't want to hold you off too much. Um, now, the promote, oh, that's basically the same thing, but I don't want to bore y'all with all these nonsense and details. Now, let's look at get invitations. Now, get invitations, that is absolutely the most important thing about this app because on get invitations this is how you're going to set your availability if you're available monday through sunday then you set it if you're available saturdays and sundays you set it in my case i'm only i only make myself available during the weekend because after my job i don't really feel like having to do any other task rabbit jobs you know so 
uh, my availability is Saturday and Sunday. And I'm just going to, well, yeah, these are some of my jobs that I have, but um, I'm just going to show y'all exactly how to make your availability. All you got to do is press tap to add new time slots, press it, and then you can stretch this thing up and down depending on what your availability is. Um, let's say you're available all day. Just do 8 a.m. to 11 p.m. Like, it's easy, simple. If you want to clear it, just press the button to your right-hand side on the bottom. That says clear availability. Press it, simple. And that's how you make your availability. Uh, okay, now, manage my task. Um, when people will hire you for a task, basically, um, you, they'll show up right here. Usually, they show up as uh, you just were assigned the task, and then normally, you have to respond to it before you can accept it. Once you respond to it, you can accept the task. Um, I have two heavy lifting jobs, one on Saturday the 28th and one on Sunday the 29th. Oh, and by the way, um, this is really important. At the very end of the month, um, you're going to get a lot of demand for moving jobs. Like, that's all the time. And really, if, if I'm being, like, really transparent here, um, all the stuff like the About Me section, it helps. But when it comes to, like, moving jobs, it doesn't really make a difference because everybody is looking for someone and really they're going to hire the person who's charging the less so if you're a new tasker if i was you i would start off at the lowest wage possible and then uh once you get better at it and then once you get more experience and more reviews then you start raising your wages but uh okay let's we're done with that let's go to my business my business is basically, it tells you how much money you earn, how many tasks you have. In my case, this July, uh, I've earned over $1,000 from seven different tasks. Um, the, my, oh, metrics. Metrics are important. You want to keep these as high as possible, folks, because if you do, you become an elite tasker. So uh, if you're an elite tasker, then not only are you more likely to get hired, but you can raise your wages three times as much as they normally are. So if you charge 20, you can raise them up to 60 just because you have that elite st uh, tasker status. Um, but I'm just going to put y'all in on a little secret. I'm not an elite tasker, but I get jobs out of the ass. Like I'm like, I had to cut my availability because I was getting so many jobs, I couldn't accept them all. That's why my acceptance rate is only 76, because uh, I had to refuse a lot of jobs because there was just so many coming. And that's why I keep telling y'all like how good of an opportunity this is, because I mean, if as long as you sign yourself up for a lot of different skills, you can stay busy throughout the whole week, however long you want. Um, so it has the response rate, which mine is 100, completion rate. Uh, let me just press this to show you all the metrics and stuff. Um, but like I said, it's best to just keep that up as much as possible. Here are ratings and reviews. I have 92% positive reviews. Very important. Make sure to keep up your reviews. Um, if you even get one bad review, that can significantly drop you down. I got, I remember I had about maybe, I think I have now, let me see. I got, yeah, I got 26 reviews. And as you can see, um, I only have one, uh, two, let me see, two uh, negative reviews. And so one negative review can really mess you up significantly. Um, if you get one negative review, it can put you down by 12%. I was at 100. I went all the way down to 12% just from one negative review. That's fucking crazy. But um, anyway, keep that up. Like you really want as many positive reviews as possible because you'll get, you're more likely to get hired. Um, skills and rates, of course, uh, y'all know about that already. If you push this, 
then you can you can set skills and rates up. In my case, I have a lot of different skills and rates. Like I said, I got cleaning, cooking, deep clean, uh, disaster recovery, airings, furniture assembly. Really, I have a lot of skills, but really, I only get hired for about, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, like about six of them. Um, the other ones, if you have that skill set, you should absolutely put it up. Um, TaskRabbit, I'm starting to realize, is more um, concerned about like being able to supply people who need cleaning, who need errands, furniture, assembly, uh, heavy lifting, moving, and stuff of that nature. So you're going to most likely get jobs based on that. So I'm just being real with y'all. Oh, and yard work as well. So just being real with you if you have a skill that you have they even have plumbing like i said before in the last video uh so whatever skills you got write them down man like you know it never hurts um by the way if you press this top plus button on the right hand side then you're able to add more like it says right here popular skills like i said they got everything mounting delivery, personal assistant, event staffing, shopping, and other skills include accounting, even Amazon, arts and crafts, carpentry. They even got, uh, I believe they have electrician. Yep. They got entertainment. Anything you can think of, TaskRabbit is a platform where if you have any skill or if you want to even improve on any skill, then it gives you the opportunity to do that. So that's the cool thing about it. That's why I like TaskRabbit so much because uh, most people my age um, are, shoot, anybody, sometimes they'll complain and say like, oh, I don't have experience in this or I don't have experience in that. This is BS, like, and a job expects that from you. Well, with this, you can get that experience with little to no experience so just keep that in mind you can use this as a platform to to give yourself experience for any other job you may be pursuing in the future so it, there's a lot of uh opportunity with this um but everything else you know july elite status that's how you become an elite learn um that's pretty much self-explanatory that's just like you know like learn is like lessons on how to do certain stuff better which is really helpful to people who might be amateurs um so it, it was helpful to me at one point so there's no nothing wrong with admitting that you were that you are an amateur i was too so don't worry um and the last thing i really want to show y'all right here is uh task history task history is every single task that you have ever done um in my case, like I said, um, I've had 26 tasks, so I have a lot right here. All got paid half the amounts of money. Uh, most of these tasks that you see, like the most recent ones, those are two tasker jobs that I've been taking on. Usually it's me and my brother or me and my friend Charles. And uh, when, when after we finish the job, they separate the money individually uh, for the ones that cost more like the one right here. It says two ninety nine seventy dollars so, or two sixty seven thirty. dollars They'll split that in half, but it's still good money. Like I said, this June, I just made $1,000 alone from seven tasks. So like I said, it's still good money. Um, now, there's the only thing, like I said, I want to show you all is just the settings, of course, where you can pause account, account details, change password, logging out, and support. And this is basically how you talk to anybody from TaskRabbit if you need help on a certain situation. Like, let's say something bad came up during a job or it's something that you have a problem with. Um, then you can always go to either live check or email member services. By the way, another perk of being an elite, elite status uh, tasker is that you are able to have uh, basically live chat for whatever reasons that you may want. Um, it's, it's a little perk. Like I said, if you can get the elite tasker status, absolutely get it. It doesn't hurt if you do, if you do so. I'm just saying. But um, that's pretty much everything that I got to show you all about the app. Um, if you have any questions, anything that I may have not covered about the app, 
then just let me know. Uh, leave comments in the description. And, or, I'm sorry, leave comments underneath the video. And as usual, if you like the, uh, the content that you're watching right now, please subscribe and press that like button. And I'll keep making more videos that can help you out uh, as a tasker in the future. So just let me know. I'm happy to answer any questions. If, it's, if it wasn't for y'all, then I wouldn't be able to do any of this stuff. And y'all really make my channel. So I appreciate everything that y'all do for me, from the watches, from the comments, from everything. So thank you. Uh, subscribe to the channel. And y'all have a good rest of y'all day. I'll see y'all around.